I, I, I thought we were going to eat. Oh, we are. With 2019's trilogy closer, we say goodbye to the adventures of a young Viking named Hiccup and his dragon friend Toothless with tears in her eyes. Now, How to Train Your Dragon 4 is coming back. However, it will not be in the same form you're used to. Here's what we know. He's not yours anymore. He belongs to the Alpha. But please. How to Train Your Dragon transports us to Berg, the village of legendary Vikings and dragon slayers, and is based on the novels of the same name. Hiccup is the village leader's son, Stoic the Vast, and to carry on the family tradition, he must slay a dragon when he reaches adulthood. Hiccup is a good hearted man who cannot bring himself to kill anyone, especially after meeting the friendly dragon Toothless. How to Train Your Dragon is a coming of age story that blends high fantasy and family drama perfectly. Hiccup develops into a strong leader throughout the trilogy and aids in transforming Burke from a place where dragons were killed to survive to one where everyone gets along. The franchise is endearing because we follow Hiccup from childhood into adulthood and get to see him develop at each stage. It shouldn't come as a surprise that the beloved movie will be the first from the studio to receive a live-action remake, since the How to Train Your Dragon franchise is one of the biggest success stories for Universal and DreamWorks animation. In many of our stories, dragons have consistently been portrayed as evil creatures that must be slain by heroes. However, in more recent years, dragons have also been portrayed as misunderstood beings deserving of kindness, devoted companionship, and even friendship. While the dragons from The Game of Thrones undoubtedly contributed to the positive public perception of dragons worldwide, credit must go to Hiccup and his dragon pal Toothless. The sweet, sympathetic story storytelling at the core of each How to Train Your Dragon film is what makes it so wonderful. It gives the movie a timeless quality that viewers of all ages can enjoy. With the live-action adaptation now in the works, here's everything we know so far about the new film. But before we go any further, don't forget to smash that like button. What's the matter with you? No, 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 come on, what are you doing? Knock it off! The project's announcement marks the first time ever that a DreamWorks animation project has been turned into a live-action production for Universal. By remaking its beloved animated films like The Lion King, Alice in Wonderland, and Aladdin, the Walt Disney Company has undoubtedly had success with it over the years. It appears that Universal will adapt the first How to Train Your Dragon film from 2010, but in a noteworthy departure from the other Disney live-action films, this project will mark the first time a remake is being directed by the same person who created the original animated films. As Du Bois prepares to helm his first live-action feature, Mark, the accomplished producer behind films like La La Land, Drive, and Cruella, is involved as a producer on the movie. Vikings and Dragons will undoubtedly be a sight to behold in live-action, and the film could become a massive blockbuster for Universal after the animated franchise became popular with its audiences. Each film in the DreamWorks trilogy received praise from both critics and viewers, and it brought in $1.6 billion at the global box office. Although How to Train Your Dragon is still in the planning stages, Universal Pictures has already set March 14, 2025 as the start date for its theatrical debut. Although a date this far in advance is uncertain, at the time of publication, the movie is the only release planned for that weekend. Being able to secure that weekend's opening spot so far in advance may encourage studios to avoid competing with the movie and plan their release dates accordingly, especially in the light of success of how the animated How to Train Your Dragon franchise went. The newly announced live-action adaptation will continue to generate speculation, while the 2025 release date looms in the distance. Many people will be watching to see if the remake will build on the popularity of the original animated trilogy, while the adorable dragon Dragon Toothless will presumably be live action in the same way that the animals in the Lion King remake were. The roles of Hiccup and Astrid have always been cast with some promising young actors. Hiccup will be played by Mason and Astrid will be played by Nico Parker. The two up and coming stars will don their Viking helmets and bring the franchise to life in a way that has never been done before. The live action movie underwent a lengthy, months long casting process as the production 
looked for actors who can not only embody the roles but also develop alongside the characters as they progress through the plot, mirroring their growth. Uh, what are you guys doing here? We are here to rescue you! I don't need to be rescued! It seems like the movie won't be a direct adaption of the books because the live-action reboot will try to adapt from its original trilogy. However, the first animated film and the author's opinion highlighted what was still significant from the books, so that's probably okay. How to Train Your Dragon 3 is the last installment of the tale that they've been telling, at least according to the standard format of a trilogy. Dean is the director of the entire How to Train Your Dragon trilogy, and he previously stated that the third entry will properly wrap up the plot. He's been discussing this as a strategy for nearly five years. In 2014, he mentioned that he was successful in convincing DreamWorks not to make a fourth installment of How to Train Your Dragon. As a result, by the time this third movie ends, the stories of Hiccup and Toothless have mostly come to a satisfying conclusion. Although Universal and Dream DreamWorks haven't given any information about what to anticipate from the live-action remake, we can infer that the movie will stick to the same plot beats as the original animated film to become a live-action franchise. When the first How to Train Your Dragon movie was released in 2010, it showed how an awkward young Viking named Hiccup and his knight fury dragon Toothless developed an unlikely friendship. Hiccup's attempts to establish himself as a true Viking are the focus of the first chapter of the saga, which also tells a fan fantastical underdog story with lots of heart, humor, and a lesson about staying true to yourself. Hiccup connects with the injured dragon and is seen as an outcast by the rest of his community. The best-selling book series served as the inspiration for the movies, which are second only to the Shrek franchise in terms of profitability at DreamWorks. In total, DreamWorks has released three animated series, five short films, and three feature films, and the characters have also appeared in ten video games. A live-action adaptation is the only thing missing. Look, we don't want any trouble. <laughs> you should have thought of that before you stole all of our dragons. Although it's obvious that the studio intends to remain somewhat faithful to the original trilogy because its original co-director has agreed to write and direct the live-action version, it's still unknown whether this adaptation will be a straight remake of the animated film or a continuation of the existing story. It'd be interesting to see the characters' adventures as young adults because they grew and matured with each animated prequel. Future How to Train Your Dragon films could become darker and more somber as a target audience ages, much like another childhood favorite Harry Potter. And this would carry on a tradition that Dean started when he made the animation trilogy. He has all the necessary components to create a fantasy action movie that is emotionally complex and exhilaratingly entertaining as a series like Harry Potter. By giving the movie a more brazen exterior and maintaining the animated series' heartfelt family values. Additionally, this would provide a sizable placement for the dark universe's reservations. The How to Train Your Dragon franchise has an advantage over the main titles in the unsuccessful project in that it is more well-known and well-received, indicating more promising box office results. If the live-action adaptation can measure up to other sustained fantasy worlds, raising the stakes for the town of Bark will undoubtedly satisfy viewers of all ages. How to Train Your Dragon will probably have an easier time bringing the whimsy and humor of the animation to real life than the 2D animation in most of Disney's properties, because most of the original animated film was grounded in reality. The way the dragons are portrayed, though, will be the main source of intrigue. The development of CGI will undoubtedly raise the bar for a realistic toothless, though the animator's choice of which side the uncanny valley to settle on may influence those standards. Will Dragon choose to embrace reality like Disney's The Lion King, or will it choose to deviate from other movies like Sonic the Hedgehog and Pokemon Detective Pikachu? If How to Train Your Dragon works well in the live action format, we have to wonder if Universal Pictures will follow Disney's lead and live action more of its beloved animated properties. Could Madagascar, Kung Fu Panda, or Shrek become remakes as well? Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. I'm with him! Who else? Roughnut, that was my line. Let's go! Try to keep up!